Let us consider a soil mass which is fully saturated. Imagine this soil experiences the force capital P at some point in soil because of its own weight. This force is resisted partly by the interparticle forces at the point of contact and partly by the force exerted by water available in pores that is pore water pressure force. Now take an imaginary plane xx at any level in the soil mass which passes through all the points of contact between soil particles that lie in this plane. This plane looks wavy on the small scale but for all practical purpose on the mass scale we can consider it perfectly plane. We will try to analyze the forces on this plane. The total normal stress on this plane can be given as total normal force acting on the plane divided by the area of the plane let's say capital A. The interparticle forces are random in magnitude and direction throughout the soil mass. So on this plane at every point of contact we can resolve them into normal and tangential components. Let's say the normal component of the force acting on a particle is capital N. So sum of all these normal forces is summation of all N. The water filled in the voids of the soil also exerts pressure on the soil grains in all the directions as Pascal's law suggests. This exerted pressure by the pore water is called pore water pressure. This pressure exerted by water also supports the stress due to the weight of overlying material. This pore water pressure can be easily measured by inserting a standpipe or tube inside the soil at the location where we want to measure the pressure. Let's say the pore water pressure is small u at the plane. So the total force offered by pore water pressure force is u multiplied by the area of voids in which water is present in this plane. We say that area as AW. Let's say the sum of all pore water pressure forces is summation u. Now by applying equation of equilibrium on the plane xx we can write that total normal force acting on this plane is equal to the sum of all normal interparticle forces and pore water pressure force. Divide the equation by whole cross sectional area capital A of the plane. We can write pore water pressure force as this. If we notice the area of contact of soil particles let's say AS is very very small and almost all the area of this plane is covered by the area of voids AW. So in our equation these can be considered almost equal and this value we have already noted is the total normal stress on the area. So we get this. In this equation this quantity is called effective stress.